Welcome to The Ageless Secret. A new energy has been discovered. Scientist and host Jim Kazik has discovered this new energy, and it's called The Ageless Secret. Come join the conversation as Jim will be talking about science, health, spirituality, wellness, and beauty. So please welcome the host of The Ageless Secret, Jim Kazik. Hi, welcome. I'm Jim Kasich, your host for the show. Um, it's all about an energy that was discovered that helps people look great for their age. And we've had several shows before this, and you observed them, and you were a viewer. Thank you so much for your participation. Um, today, we're going to be talking about something. I'm going to do a little demonstration. I always like to do those kind of things when it comes to science. And... Um, I talk about in the previous shows that it is possible to put two hands around a beaker of water and the energy will pass through the beaker into the water and change the structure of the water uh, like a magnet. And so what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to demonstrate that magnet to people because um, maybe a lot of people haven't seen that. And it's, some, you know, it's something to see. This, this is a, a metal inside this beaker. And I've got a magnet in my hand here. And you can see that what's happening is that metal is moving. As I move this magnet in my hand, that metal is moving. And it goes, I can raise it right up, right up the side of the, the, the beaker. So what's happening here is the energy from the magnet is passing through the beaker, through the matter, in it's affecting the material that's on the inside. And as I want to, move, if I move it faster, you can really see it move around. So what we've really got here is a proof that there is a energy field. A magnet has an energy field and the energy field can pass through matter. Life force energy field can pass through matter. Now, the magnet affects metal, but the life force energy field affects water. So that was a very interesting thing, discovery that we made, that the um, life force energy actually uh, affects water, it affects water molecules. And we were able to do that. A child under the age of 10 can take two hands and put them around a glass of water hold it with both hands for 30 seconds, and they can change the properties of the water through the glass. The energy field that we have, that's life force, life force energy, can pass through the glass, the same as the magnet just did. And instead of changing metal, it actually causes the water to form a structure. And the structure has been proven scientifically, we call it a microparticle. So if we could put that up that would be great, Caleb, a picture of the microparticle. That's exactly what we're doing. Now, on many of the other shows, what I've done is I've shown that, amazingly, that microparticle uh, is a type of water. This is a microparticle water. is a type of water that oil likes. Oil does not repel microparticle water, which is huge for science because everybody knows it's almost a, sci it's a scientific principle that oil repels water. So what we're going to do, we're going to do this test again that I've done before. I think it's very important when you're talking about scientific principles to um, um, put this over here where you can see it. There we are. So well, that's 5W30 conventional motor oil. And that's what I've been using for the test. Now, in one of the shows previously, I, I took this container and I opened it on camera so people knew that it, it wasn't contaminated in any way. And so it's, it's still even got the little seal stuck to the top. So what I'm going to do here is get that out of the way and pull the oil into this beaker for the test. Here we go. And um, then I'll just wipe it with a paper towel here. So get it out of the way. And what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be using the Ageless Secret Renewal Support Formula on my hands to show that I can have an energy that can pass through matter like a child of age 10. See, I'm, 
I'm 76 years old. My energy is not the same as a child under the age of 10. <laughs> so I need a little help. Well, scientifically, we have proven that the Ageless Secret Renewal Support Formula, and, and, and Taylor, if you could put up a picture of the Renewal Support Formula, this Renewal Support Formula has an energy in it that is like life energy. And so it allows me to be able to have more life force energy. So what I'm going to do is I'll spray this into my hands and then I'll rub my hands together. And um, I don't know what happened there on my little screen. There we go. So what I'm going to do now is I've got the energy in my hands now, more like a child of age 10. Well, the whole idea behind this is to be able to show that there's microparticles inside my skin like age 10. And because it's an energy field, what happens is the field in the glass can pass through matter like that magnet did. So what it's doing is that field is going to pass through matter. It's allowing me to hold the glass with both hands for 30 seconds and my energy is passing through the container into the water. Now, it's not so much the water changing that's on the glass. That's actually showing me a, it's a way for me to see what's happening inside my skin. When I invented this test, it was to try to find out what's going on inside that skin. What kind of water is in that skin? And if it's indeed caused by this energy and it's an, at a field, then maybe I'll be able to take a look at what that water looks like inside the water and the container that I'm holding because it represents what's happening inside my skin because it's a field of energy. So what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to take this um, water, which is the energy now has been converting it into um, the microparticle, microparticle water. So I'm going to just take this and I'm going to add it to the beaker of oil and we're going to mix it around. Now we've done this again and again and again, uh, show after show after show. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that water and I'm going to add it to the oil. And of course, the first thing that happens is we see there's a separation because oil and water don't mix. But as I begin to mix it around, the microparticles will begin to combine with the oil. And it gradually, it begins to mix together with those microparticles. And we see that it doesn't repel as much as it did it at first. So it, it's actually beginning now to look like a thicker layer of oil that's dropping down. The oil is the motor oil, the 5W30 motor oil is no longer repelling as great as it did before. And so what's happening is it's combining more, more and more and more with the um, microparticle water. Well, one of the names that I've given this is like, um, it's, it's a water that oil likes. Another name for oily substances is, um, is lipo, and philic means like. So this is a, a lipophilic water. The microparticle is actually the structure for the lipophilic water. So here we can see we're mixing it around. It's going down further and further and further. And you can see that it gets blended together more and more and more and more. And on the sides of the beaker, you can clearly see that there's a mixture here that's being formed. And so what's happening here is we're actually demonstrating again on camera live that the oil and the water are, are mixing together. And that, that, that really, really is very, very difficult to do, especially when you're using um, motor oil because motor oil re repels oil very strongly. I mean, motor oil repels water very strongly. It's a very, very, um, but you can see right now what's happened is it just formed a complete uniform mixture. Um, and that's the result of the microparticles, the, the water of life. Now, okay, it's a, it's a really nice thing to see this. This is amazing. You might be saying, well, what does that mean? Well, it means everything as far as life goes. Because what we've discovered was, if we can put up a picture of the um, cell membrane, uh, it becomes very evident 
that there's something really amazing about that type of water. Do we have the cell membrane available? The cell membrane, the outside, there we go, the outside part of it, those little orange balls at the top, those are what we call phosphate groups, and they attract water. So the top part of it is, out, is what's outside the cell. Inside the cell is the bottom part, which is also um, those, mem those um, we call them phosphate groups um, that attract water. In between is the challenge. In between are what we call hydrophobic tails. And they're made up of oily molecules. So now you have this water that's got to get down inside the cell. You've got to have water inside our cells to live. So you've got this water that is trying to get down inside the cell, but it's re being repelled by those channels that are made up of the, uh, the oily molecules. And you can almost think of them as um, flexible tubes made up of a material that repels oil. Now, I mean, re repels water. Oily, these oily tubes re repel water. But we have to have water in ourselves. Well, life force energy creates microparticle water. And that microparticle water is the water of youth. Because when we're young, we have a high amount of life force energy. And over time, it gradually declines. And so what happens is we make less and less of that microparticle water. And so what happens, the cell has to compensate for that and says, well, I've got to get water in here somehow. So it starts to have to wiggle that water in. In instead of it just flowing down easily when it's microparticle water, when you're young, no problem. The cell is hydrated beautifully. The skin looks great. It's got a beautiful glow to it. Um, it's hydrated. Uh, it doesn't look right out and dull. And on, on, as we get older, what happens is it, aging sets in. We, we're just not getting as much microparticle water down inside that, that cell. And so what happens is the, the plain water ha it has to be substituted. And in order to get the plain water in the cell, this is my theory, the cell has to work hard to do it. And so um, what happens is it probably has to wiggle it in. And in so doing, it's used up a lot of energy. So what's happening is the cells are using up a tremendous amount of energy. Billions of cells in you are using up a tremendous amount of energy just to stay alive. And they're working hard to do it. So what happens is they bring in the water to help everything function inside the cell. But then they get tired and say, well, I can't bring in any more. I've got enough to, make, to let you live. You've got enough to keep life alive but I don't have that extra amount to give you that extra look that you want for that look of youth. And the microparticle water does that. The microparticle water creates that wonderful look of a youthful skin. Whereas when you're using the plain water, it, it doesn't do that. And also because the cells have works hard, they don't have as much energy available anymore to you. So they've used up a lot of your energy and you no longer have the energy of youth that you had when you were younger. So it becomes a very big challenge to be able to keep yourself looking younger as you're getting older because you're creating less and less of the microparticles, the water that oil likes, the lipophilic type of water. And it becomes more and more difficult. And with time, it's, it's like, well, you know, I'm just going to have to give up on this. And this, then other things begin to decline in the body because there's just not as much energy. Well, the other thing is skin has a beautiful glow. And younger skin has a beautiful glow. So what, how does that happen? Well, the microparticle itself, you notice that there's um, those little orange balls are on both sides of the cell membrane. So that means the water inside the cell is attracted back up inside the cell membrane once it's inside. Well, if it's microparticle water, it is. So what can happen is that microparticle water, and by the way, that microparticle is actually like a little ball, very, very tiny. And we're looking at a cross section of it when we're looking at the picture here. So the outside coating has like a, a negative charge on it. And so 
what happens is they 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 can you've got charged particles that would be going up and down up and down that cell membrane back and forth back and forth back and forth and that can create like a little bit of electricity and that can give the skin a beautiful glow a beautiful healthy glow so now you know where the beautiful healthy glow comes could possibly come from and now you know why as we're getting older we don't have as much energy as when as as when we were a child now according to life force energy not really much is known about it except for the fact of the experiments that i've done but it's been around for known about for over four thousand years i mean this is this is the basis of uh, chinese medicine of acupuncture of reiki and um in order to be able to well put it in perspective as far as the value of that knowledge uh, the, the USA has been around for about 500 years. So it's been around acupuncture information and um, life force energy has been around for a much longer period of time. Now, according to their theory, um, this is the energy. Life force energy is the energy of life. It is the energy that makes life possible. And I have shown you that it has a very special ability to be able to um, pass through matter like a magnet. And when you put it on your hands, it, it, it can make your skin look really young. You can see what my hands look like at age 76. They look pretty, pretty good. My skin looks pretty good for a guy age 76. So that, that's the big deal that I wanted to share with you today. Um, I do the experiment again and again and again be, um, with the oil and the water because it's a huge, huge thing for science. And as a scientist, it's very important to replicate, to keep duplicating it, to do it again and again and again. And if indeed it really is the truth, it should work every time. <laughs> and that's what we're seeing. It actually works every time. Every show I've done, uh, these are done live. And th that ability of the uh, life force energy to create the microparticle water and then have the oil, which by the way, this motor oil uh, really repels water very strongly. Uh, you just saw it took a little while to mix it together. And it's, it's really an amazing thing. And then to be able to understand the contribution of the microparticle with regards to the cell membrane and, and how it keeps us younger uh, is, uh, is, is another big thing. And again, it's, it's, it's just a theory, but the evidence is showing that there's a very high probability that indeed this is the way that uh, the cell membrane functions because you have to have water to get down into your cells, to have your DNA work, to have all of your cellular, cellular functions uh, working. So what we'd like to do right now, we'd like to put up a little video. And um, if Caleb could find a video for, let's see, I think we could start with, um, you know, it would be really good since I've already gone through the life force and I've already talked about how we can change the energy uh it, the energy in us uh, us can change the water i did an experiment where i went to sedona arizona i did this as as a gift to humanity um i had already worked this out with some uh, local healers in my area and um i went went to the world research foundation in sedona as a third party independent area and they supplied me with some healers and what we did was we actually had these healers hold their hands over sealed vials of water and see if we could measure them with a machine. Now, this machine that we're using in this test is a machine that was used in the two-year laboratory study that was done proving the existence of the microparticle. So if we could put up the, um, the Sedona video. Choose file 16. There it is. <laughs> so what we're going to do, we're going to try something that we were not successful in doing before. We're now going to use a purified laboratory water, which is, has no mineral content to it. 
and it's very difficult to uh, see a change in the structure of the water with that kind of water. So we're going to see if the, uh, the uh, impossible can be done here. <laughs> but this is the purest water that can be made. It's called type 1 purified water. Okay. It's used in, in chemistry labs when they need the purest water possible so they can't have any contamination right. of anything, right. and you're not going to touch it. No. Okay. Uh, what you're going to do? If you touch the glass, it interferes with the measurement. Yeah. Sure. So we're going to ask you, to, so. uh, Cammy, to rub your hands together like this, for, just for five seconds. Yeah, you know, like that. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,004, 1,005. And then just hold them over that file like this with your palms, like pushing your palms. That's it. Put your palms down as low as you can. We're going to hold it for 10 seconds. You can seconds. touch the cap. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,004, 1,005, 1,006, 1,007, 1,008, 1,009, 1,010. That's it. So he's, Dr. Dibble's going to take the vial and put it into the machine, and uh, we're going to take a measurement and see what, what it measures. And then um, what we've been finding is it doesn't change too much with the initial measurement because the structure is beginning to form, and then by adding mechanical inversion to it, we find that it enhances it. Well, it's the same general readings, but what's, what's interesting is that they're all the same, which is mm -hmm. unusual. Usually they vary quite a bit. Yeah, usually so there's a wave. This is, there's, usually see. there's a wave that develops, and here they're, they're just, rock steady. So that's another thing that's a little unusual. And now we're going to do the inversion. Well, you, Cammy's uh, inv involved with body energy medicine and things like that, too. What happens? See, I'm going to do an inversion. Let's see. And what does the inversion do? Adds energy to it. It's like a mechanical? Mechanical yeah. energy. We think it may actually be releasing energy. Actually, um, what we have here is a, a nucleation of like little clusters that have formed. And very possibly, there's a friction occurring with the inversion Indeed. that's breaking open the energy and allowing the machine to measure it. It's like a chain reaction. Yep, very similar to a chain reaction. Science is interesting. Three times thought? higher, <laughs> right there. See, there you go. <laughs> so you did structure the water in a way that was holding the energy inside, and yeah, yeah. very possibly, we can't see inside that vial, but the it's inversion is causing the little um, clustering to Indeed. to rub over one another and Losing breaking energy. loose the energy yeah. that he, that he can now measure. That's amazing. So what we're seeing here is um, <laughs> a, you got to get him again. <laughs> How can it be that high? <laughs> over two. <laughs> so it's very important to document that those numbers are, are not numbers that he's just writing down randomly. This is actually what the machine is showing. And that's for pure, the highest purity water that is, is, is left in a laboratory possible. that's possible. Um, he's got numbers here that... Um, From a turbidity standpoint, the, the water, it's amazing the amount of clustering that's occurring. And you know what's really amazing about this whole thing is in order to see this, for this machine to see this, unless it's releasing a tremendous amount of light that the machine is interpreting, but even so, it's a scattering. What's happening is there's an incident beam in this machine that's contacting minute particles in the water. And, it, and they absorb the energy, and then they re-emit it, and that's what we call the scattering, and it goes off in all different, different directions. Well, th apparently there's an additional energy source that's been introduced that's giving us this, these higher readings in addition to the scattering that we're seeing. Oh, my God. So you know it's, what I don't understand? How comes that it oscillates so rapidly, that it changes the levels so rapidly? Well, that's it's another mystery. That rapid. It happens with you. It's I mean, within seconds. <laughs> well, yeah. Over a period of the minutes. The machine actually up. takes like five measurements and averages them for each number yeah. that you see, yeah. and then Dr. Dibble takes them like every fifteen every seconds 15 in seconds. addition. 
So, but this is a common piece of laboratory equipment that's used in water quality assurance. I mean, this is not some esoteric piece of equipment. Yeah, I mean, they use this in labs for water quality assurance purposes, and the federal standard is, is the maximum you can have is one. Mm. <laughs> and one of these went up to 2.04. <laughs> so that's... So, so <clears throat> the point that I wanted to make in addition to this is very possibly what we're looking at here is a clustering of water where these particles are insoluble. You're looking at an ins a water that's within water that's insoluble because in order for the light to have been picking up the particles, mm -hmm. it only picks up suspended particles that are insoluble. It doesn't pick up stuff that's dissolved. Yeah. That's the way the machine works. It's designed to pick up <laughs> particulate stuff. No, exactly. Solids. No, I get it. Yes, and so there shouldn't be anything in there. So there shouldn't there. be anything um, in oh, here. Thank you. <laughs> there we go. Thank That's you. what it is. There shouldn't Insoluble be anything in there. particles of water within water. Now, the really <laughs> cool thing is... You should get no reading. <laughs> if you were to take this water and put this on your skin, it won't feel like water. You will actually be able to detect... There is how I did my research was through feel. If I was, and that's how I discovered this accidentally, I was trying to find ways to make skin lotions without using oil. So I started working with water, and I found ways to create devices that would infuse this energy that's supposedly flowing through the air into the water and change the properties of the water. I've never been able to measure values on this water using any methods uh, above 0.2. Wow. So we just got one two. <laughs> That's, That's ten times higher than the most I've ever seen. What is your name? Javier. Har Javier. Okay. All righty. I'm happy to see we go back to okay, the... Javier, what I'm going to ask you to do, please, is just rub your palms together like this for five seconds, okay? Thousand one, thousand two, thousand three, thousand four, thousand five. Then hold your hands over that vial like this with your palms down. Yeah, put your palms over it. Yep, get your get both. There you go, like that. Both, both of them. I'm gonna count. Thousand one, thousand two, thousand three, thousand four, thousand six, seven, thousand eight, thousand nine, thousand ten. Great. Thank you, Javier. That's it. We just want to see what kind of energy we get out of this. Okay. Thank you. So I'm, I want to make sure I get enough readings here just to show that, yes, this is indeed what it is. Yeah, that's good. It's not good. jumping all over the place. No, it's that's good. That's, nice, steady that's a, readings. That's excellent. Beautiful. Yeah. So we could say Javier is the only balanced person that... <laughs> <laughs> Cammy was very good, too. Okay. I'm going to turn it off for a while. I'm going to do the inversion. Started to measure it. Wire. <clears throat> Okay, I'm going back down. So you see, these initial readings are kind of low, but mm -hmm. this is why I keep keep going. Yeah. And usually, we'll get into spiky territory pretty soon. Yep, it's starting to go up. Briefly. Okay. So he's not having the same having effect the same on effect. the water as the energy as the people that that are uh, body energy healers. 
It's very nice to see the difference, though. Mm -hmm. This tells me this is a great method that yeah. I never knew about. <laughs> no, it is. It's a great. It's a, it's. This could be a wonderful tool to, for biofeedback for them. Yeah, exactly. And that's 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 a wonderful discovery. Yeah. It's only through doing these kinds of measurements that I can tell that there's actually some difference between people. Mm -hmm. and it's not just the space. It's just not uh, the same using the same vial. Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, you worry about stuff like that. I use the same vial as. This, Previous right, one. was it that contaminated, could, but that, actually it was yeah, not. Yeah, but that, so we have three people: Dennis, Cami, and Javier. And you can see that there's a den between Dennis and Cami. We've got similar results. And um, and was it much different between the um, inversion? Huge, what? huge difference with the inversion. So my interpretation of that is that they infuse the water with some kind of structure, and the, infu the, the, the inversion actually released the energy, which this okay. was able to then measure. All right. I, I'm measuring pure fine. water Good. here that I've been measuring in my lab for a year. <laughs> and which have you The lowest levels I saw for Dennis and Cami were higher than the highest levels I've ever measured in my lab. <laughs> so. To say that I didn't expect it, that puts it mildly. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you for watching that video. Now, the next thing we'd like to do is show you um, Dr. Dibble's comments about what he witnessed. So if we could bring up the, uh, the video with Dr. Dibble. And Those initial results that we got were results that I've never seen before for that water. Discovery with the pure, purified water is quite, quite startling. So I'll describe a little bit about what this instrumentation does because probably you're wondering about that by now. <laughs> uh, basically, what in water quality labs, the government, EPA, and other government agencies test water and per, for instance, a municipality that has a water treatment plant or they provide water to clients in, in their town, they have to, uh, they have certain standards for the quality of that water. So there are various dissolved constituents which have to be within certain limits. And so they measure those. And one of the things they measure is the particulate content. So if you take water out of a stream, it can be kind of muddy and it can have color to it and uh, they don't like that for drinking water so they've the government's established standards and the federal government has standards for drinking water regarding to the number of particles that, that, that are in it so they don't they don't like uh, drinking water to be so muddy that you know you can't even see through it so they've come up with a method to measure how much particulate matter is in the water. And they do that by this method of shining light through the water to see if the light scatters. So there's many different kinds of particles that can be in the water. And this method basically measures all of them because that's what these particles scatter the light. And whatever light is scattered and is measured by this instrumentation so there, this is the mystery then. The mystery is you can take pure water that has nothing in it. It doesn't even have anything dissolved in it. So not only does it have no particles in it that can scatter light, it has nothing dissolved in it that can be measured by other techniques. So it's pretty strange that the water starts scattering light. So. That was the first discovery that this was actually happening on waters of various kinds. The question then is, what is it that's actually scattering the light in these, in these solutions? And uh, I mean, I'm grateful to Jim to bringing this issue to me because I had never had any idea that this was, could be possible. And he saw that, and he just called me out of the blue one day and asked me if I knew anything about that. And I had him describe to me what in the world he was doing. And 
I had no idea what was going on. This shouldn't happen. You shouldn't, this, see the arrowhead water that he uses as a stock solution, it's a drinking water that is regulated by the government and it has to adhere to certain standards. So one of those standards is this low particulate content. So they have to filter their water to some degree to take out enough particles that it, uh, it satisfies the government standards. So in, indeed, you can measure their water and it's a good, a good low standard. It has very little in it. So when he's telling me that he's getting this effect from his water, it just made no sense. So I thought, well, it's probably worth looking into. So that's when I researched it and I bought this instrument and started making measurements on my own. One day shook the sample a little bit and I realized that it was a bigger effect I was seeing. So then I came up with a protocol for actually inverting the sample. And uh, every time I saw an increased effect. So that's the next mystery is what's going on there. Uh, you've, <laughs> there are no particles to begin with. So one might think that if there were particles that if you turned it over that you'd suspend the particles and they would scatter the light better. I mean, that's the first thing I thought of, but there were no particles and I could prove that by doing uh, something called centrifugation. If you put uh, water with suspended particles on it in a centrifuge and spin it around, the particles all go to the bottom of the centrifuge and you remove them. So I tried to, if they were actual physical particles, you should be able to remove them by using a centrifuge and I never saw that. I, could never, no particles were ever removed. I didn't see the effect go away, in other words, when I centrifuged the sample. So it's more than just particles, but then what is it? Well, the way this instrument works, uh, it, it sees, it, it detects light. So a beam is sent through the sample and there's a sensor at 90 degrees at right angles to the beam. So if any light is scattered, the sensor will pick it up. So normally if no light is scattered, it just goes straight through and you get no readings. But what would happen if the uh, sample was actually emitting light itself? The instrument would have no way of uh, differentiating between light that was scattered and light that was actually emitted by the sample. So this is another area for research because it's possible that whatever energy has been in, in, imbued in these samples is actually possible. It's possible to have the sample emit light afterwards. And it's possible also that this mechanical process is uh, producing that effect. So there are a lot of possibilities here that need to be uh, looked into. <laughs> As you can tell, we've just barely started on this. I mean, it's barely a year that uh, uh, Jim called me. So it's pretty new research. And as you can surmise, I mean, this experience coming here today was a, another step in the direction of developing more questions. <laughs>so Dr. Dibble was clearly indicating the kind of proof that we have for the microparticle. And I spent a lot of time earlier today talking about that microparticle water and the huge discovery that was connected later on that we learned with the, um, that oil does not repel microparticle water. It's very, very big for the cell membrane. And the various things that I went over uh, all lead to that wonderful conclusion <laughs> that this is a huge discovery for um, anti-aging, life extension, uh, youthful energy, and, and youthful beauty. All of those are, are connected with the life force energy, the microparticle, 
and the cell membrane. So what we'd like to do now is, sh is share some information from a, an, another video that we have. Um, and this is a uh, anti-aging conference that was done uh, a few years ago, about, I think about 10 years ago. Um, and uh, we were both a presenter and an exhibitor. And this is the world's largest anti-aging conference. So if we could please put up that video. We came here because this is the biggest show of the year for the anti-aging world. You name it, it's here. This is like Disneyland for me. Now there's wonderful products here and they all have benefit, but a lot of them do the same thing. I walk around and I'm familiar with a lot that's here. You know, everything else is either, either a cream or a serum or a lotion or some form like that. But in terms of true anti-aging products, I, I don't see anything that compares. They're a secret. These photos are taken five years apart. Here you see an example of a progressive change. There's no surgery here. Every cell in your body knows exactly what to do to heal itself if it has enough energy to do so. And there are a number of things that we can do to help people get more energy. And Ageless Secret is an incredible addition to this little toolkit we have. The easiest way to explain the Ageless Secret is to say that it's organic, energy-infused skin care. It's an energetic cosmetic. It's subtle energy in a bottle that recharges skin cells. Because every cell in your body is a rechargeable battery. And once you're adding Ageless Secret to it, it's making these cells work like they used to years ago. What we see here on the screen right now is an absorbance curve showing that the energy is actually present in the Ageless Secret. This is the first time ever that this has been able to be shown that it can be done. The red curve is water by itself before it has gone through our energizing process. The blue curve represents what water looks like after it has gone through our energizing process. That peak that you see up there at 270 nanometers in the UV range indicates that some kind of structuring has occurred to the water. So it's proof that we have a technology that's very unique that can structure and energize that water. So this is a very valuable uh, discovery. It is something that it's verifiable Jim saw it, the independent lab saw it, I saw it over and over again. So we're convinced that this is a real phenomenon and we wel would welcome anybody else to check it for themselves. So we're looking at about less than 60 days here. These results are in combination with the Ageless Secret and also some energy devices. The Ageless Secret will enhance the results with any other energetic type protocol that you're using because it's energy. And one of the things that we notice with our clients is that you can see the eyes have opened. It almost looks like she had something done to her eyes, but what's been done to her eyes is the energy has allowed those skin cells to be recharged again. So let's think of them as the rechargeable skin cells that need this energy. Here we have an example of someone that's been on the Ageless Secret Gold product now for four months, and the skin quality improved, the skin lifted, some of the lines have become much, much less noticeable. And over time, the results will continue to get even better and better. These photos are taken less than 30 days apart. Even though the Ageless Secret produces temporary results of lifting, plumping, toning, and tightening the skin immediately, you can get that high level of immediate gratification and the beautiful healthy glow, we also see that over time, the results continue to improve. So what, what Jim has been doing, it appears to me, is actually issuing a challenge to anybody who would want to repeat the results that we've gotten for themselves. It has become obvious to me that I'm gonna start using this every single day on a regular basis. I will give up anything, probably food, before I give up Ageless Secret Gold, because I know what it does. The secret is, is out, it's Ageless Secret. So that presentation was made to doctors and professionals. Uh, it was a PowerPoint presentation that, that was made there. 
and I was sharing the information about the kind of results that we were getting. Um, a packet of those photos were left with them, and they were able to actually take a good look at them. And a lot of them were uh, were quite intrigued and and be became became clients. So it was really a, 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 a wonderful ex experience. And at the time, the Age of Secret Gold formula you saw that there that was our best product, but We've since moved on, and we now have our um, Age of Secret Renewal Support Formula. So we can put up a picture of that, please, Caleb. This is actually the product, the Renewal Support Formula, that is the uh, very best product that we have today. Um, it's got 20-plus ingredients in it. It has all the energy uh, of, of the gold formula that the gold formula had and more. Uh, over the years, we've, we've learned how to uh, make the product uh, even better even more powerful. So the renewal support formula is um, capable of, uh, of doing in incredible things. I mean, I'm 76 years old. You see what my skin looks like at 76. And if you're watching these videos, you're saying, yeah, that guy's skin get a little bit better. <laughs> well, it does the name renewal support formula. Um, it's we gave the product that name because it supports renewal cycles. Every 28 days, you get new skin on your face, but that weakens after the age of 35. And there's an energy connection associated with that. So what I wanted to do was be able to support that renewal cycle so it would work more like when we're young. Uh, every six months, there's not one atom of molecules on your face now that's going to be there. It's all been replaced with brand new skin. Again, that declines after the age of 35. And then um, the, the biggie is every year, 98% of the atoms in you are completely replaced. And if you have enough energy in you, very possibly from the ageless secret, uh, you might be able to have that renewal cycle work more like when you were young. And you're supposed to get new, hand, new skin on your hands every 24 hours. You can see what my skin looks like using the ageless secret, and I'm 76 years old. So if you keep using it again and again and again, it's consistency is the key. I mean, that's a 60-day supply. And if you use, like, say, 15 sprays a day, um, that bottle would last two months. And most people will be really happy with, with their results using 15 sprays a day. We do have some people that are more into anti-aging, and they'll use much, much more. They'll use twice as much, and the bottle will last them a month. And they're very, very happy to be able to get the kind of results that they were looking for, where it looks like they're aging backwards. <laughs> and so they use, they use more than 15 sprays a day. I, I myself uh, use more than 15 sprays a day. I'll use quite a few on my hands when I'm doing these tests. And then many times I'll be demonstrating the product and showing people like a spray up my face with my eyes open. It doesn't burn a sting. Uh, it's not intended for that. You don't do that. I'm just showing you, you know, that it's incredibly safe to use. And perhaps we can put up a video of Paula talking about the Ageless Secret. Uh, again, this was at, at the conference. Um, if you can find that one, Caleb of Paula talking about the Ageless Secret. The product has MSM in it, aloe, and trace minerals. There are some doctors that believe all diseases is caused by lack of minerals. You know, aloe is very soothing. Uh, it's used for burns, it's used for, the, for skin all over. And then MSM is a flexibilizer. So MSM will help to make your skin more flexible. You know, it, it flexibilizes joints, but we use it to flexibilize our product. And, and then you take those three ingredients and then you energize them. And you're, you're using subtle energy, which is an organizing energy. and it's just taking these and taking them to the way next level so that they're going to work better and um, they're going to energize those skin cells because every cell in your body is a rechargeable battery and once you're adding ageless secret to it it's making these cells work like they used two years ago which you just use the product first on clean skin wash and rinse your face and spray it on pat it in um, if you want to use a little hair dryer to heat activates it so you would wave a hair dryer in front of your face for um, no more than 20 seconds, um, no more than medium heat, just and that will penetrate the product a little deeper and you'll get um, a, a better effect from it. So then 
once it's dry, you put anything else you want over it. And one of the nice things is um, you'll probably need less of all of your 29 different things that you use on your face. You'll need, you can cut down, especially with retinols, so the ladies that are using those harsh Retin-A products, those um, are energized now by the Ageless Secret. The, the, the product has such energy that it makes them stronger, and so they would be too, too much for you, so you could cut that in half right away. Don't have to use as much of your retinols, and eventually you'll be able to uh, not need them at all. So there you saw Paula giving her comments from a woman's perspective on uh, how to use the Ageless Secret and uh, the kind of results that uh, people were getting. One of the things I'd like to do right now is, is show a photo, um, PD001 of one of our clients. Um, this is a combination of energy devices that we use and also using the Ageless Secret. Uh, the only makeup here is eye makeup and lipstick and the results are, are quite profound. Um, it's, a, it's, a, it's the result of the Ageless Secret enhancing that activity of the, the cell membrane that we saw earlier. The microparticle gets inside that cell membrane. You notice the difference in the, the, the color of the skin, the, the, the glow, the youthful glow. And this woman uh, is, was, was a sun worshiper, uh, she's an avid golfer. Uh, so she was out in the sun a lot, and uh, she definitely had some significant damage there. And what's happened using the um, Ageless Secret, the um, cell membrane got activated with the microparticles, and the skin developed a beautiful, youthful glow uh, as, as a result of that activity. And it, so they... Earlier, we just used to talk about it as a rechargeable battery. Uh, we didn't really understand the mechanism. And now that um, I, I've been able to validate that the uh, microparticle uh, is a type of water, actually the structure for a lipophilic water, lipo meaning oil and philic meaning likes, a type of water that oil likes, uh, it makes a huge difference in the overall appearance of the skin. Uh, it's, it's hard for me as a scientist to say wets out the oil, <laughs> but it does. <laughs> so, you know, skin has water in it, it has oil in it. And if you're using a product like the Age of the Secret, you're going to get the maximum hydration with the, with the water. You're also going to end up getting the, the oily part of it looking incredible as it combines with the water and gives you an incredibly youthful look and also gets down inside that cell membrane. And uh, so the implications here for, you know, youthful energy and youthful beauty are, are, uh, are enormous using the Ageless Secret Renewal Support Formula and seeing what's happening with the um, uh, overall uh, texture of the skin. You can see on this lady's skin, uh, it developed a, a, a beautiful glow. Um, if we could put up another photo of one of our other clients, PD002. And this lady um, up in the forehead area, th those lines disappeared completely. That's a combination of Botox and Ageless Secret. I don't know what the contribution of the Ageless Secret was to that, but uh, it probably helped a lot because, I mean, just beautiful results there. Uh, again, she's just uh, eye makeup. And, and lipstick and no makeup. And you can see in the after photo, it looks like she has makeup on. I mean, her skin just absolutely looks beautiful and got a youth, beautiful glow to it. And that's due to the, that's due to the energy and, and the ageless secret. So, so you, we're very proud of the, the product and what it can deliver. Uh, and these photos are a small example of uh, the kind of results our clients are getting over and over. And we've had clients been with us for over 20 years um, because the we, Age of Secret's been around for quite a number of years. And over the years, we've actually improved it and made it better and better and better. And today, um, the Age of Secret Renewal Support Formula is delivering results that used to take 
well, almost six months to say you can see with one bottle of the, the renewal support formula. Uh, it's, it's that much more powerful. And uh, so we're very grateful to be able to actually have this kind of a technology to help people um, look great for their age. And that's the whole idea behind the energy. It's an energy that, that um, I discovered that's similar to life energy. The difference be, it's the only difference really is that the, the energy that we have, that we infuse into our products is stable. Um, it's stable for years. The uh, tests were done for two years by the Tiller Labs. And um, they, they were just amazed. Uh, life force energy um, is, not, is not as stable uh, and it does decline with age. The age of secret renewal support formula is a great replacement for that. So one of the other things I can share with you, you saw Dr. Dibble in the video, uh, he was the lead researcher and when they were a little skeptical about what's going on with our samples we were sending them, they sent us their own water in sealed jars, tamper proof, uh, sealed in wax with tamper proof markings and said, okay, energize us. They sent it back to us and we'll see what's in it. And they, after they got their samples back and were satisfied that there was no damage, that was, there was no tampering that was done. Uh, they opened up their jars, they, they tested it and they looked, they were astonished to find that in their sealed jars, there, there was the microparticles. The microparticle water was there. So we have many ways that we've proven that the microparticle is real and it's very important for helping you look great for your age. This has been The Ageless Secret with host Jim Kazik. Tune in each week and learn how this new energy can help make people look great for their age and the science behind it. Monday, 7 p.m. Eastern on the Bold Brave TV Network.